Lent of 2021 will be a Lent like no other. It was 11 months ago when we began down this road of the pandemic with all of the guidelines and protocols that we've been so familiar with now here at St. Peter Church and in so many other parts of our lives. The anxiety level, the upsetment that people are feeling, well, it's poignant and it's very real and it's visceral. And I would like to suggest that we have an opportunity, all of us in Lent, to reach out to other people, to be kind, simply kind, but then also to be very practical about the needs of other people. And so that's why we encourage almsgiving here at our parish. Almsgiving is a great biblical concept. If you Google almsgiving, you're gonna see all kinds of scripture quotes as Jesus calls us to be mindful of the poor and to give alms, but to do so in a way that doesn't draw attention to ourselves. That's become a hallmark of St. Peter parishioners. We're looking forward to the monthly food drive that gives over a ton of food a month now to the Honeybrook Food Pantry and helps families that not only have been identified as needy in the long term, but even some families who are new to this need in the pandemic time. We're also encouraging people to participate in Operation Rice Bowl that's sponsored by Catholic Relief Services and helps people overseas, as well as people here in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. Rice bowl boxes are at the doors of the church. The Catholic Charities Appeal of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia has for decades been the source of support and help, very needed help for the poorest of the poor, regardless of their religious affiliation. The only criterion is that they be in need in some way. Catholic Charities Appeal funds are completely separate from the funds of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and they have to go to the case statement neediness identified as the appeal began just a few weeks ago. That's a Pennsylvania state law and it's strictly enforced. So you can be sure that your dollars to the Catholic Charities Appeal go precisely to the place that's identified in the appeal documents. Our local parish St. Vincent de Paul Society has for many years been a source of support for people who run into crises and at a particular time, we've helped people who've had house fires, people who needed car repairs, emergency food supplies, house heaters. The Vincent de Paul Society of this parish predates my time here, and I'm here 17 years. This is a long standing and very efficient and very effective way to help the poor here close at home. We encourage you to be as generous as you can in the Sunday collection. I can't help but be so very, very grateful that all through this pandemic time, folks have taken seriously their commitment to our parish, to our debt reduction plan, especially through the annual fund. I know that I'm talking what seems a little bit like money, but I wanna remind you that almsgiving was encouraged by Jesus. In another video, I'm gonna talk more about spirituality and the spiritual side of Lent. But ministry runs on resources. The poor are always with us. The needs are greater than ever. And from our own neediness, we can help others who are, well, really desperate and really hoping that someone cares. Let's make this Lent of 2021 unlike any other Lent we've been through. God bless you and your family in this Lent.